crash on I-70 that backed up traffic for hours. Now it has the attention of CDOT. Tonight, they are looking into ways to improve safety along that stretch of the interstate. Good evening, and thank you for joining us at 5. I'm Andrew Heal. And I'm Shannon Ogden. And that crash Sunday near the Morrison exit killed an Idaho Springs mother. And investigators say they found an empty bottle of Fireball whiskey and a can of beer in the car of the driver that crossed the median into oncoming traffic. Denver 7's Jennifer Kowaleski is live where it happened, and Jen CDOT is looking at a number of safety improvements to prevent this from ever happening again. Ann and Shannon, well, first you have to understand just how busy this stretch of I-70 is. Whether you're going to or from the mountains, this is really your route. And CDOT says on a busy holiday weekend, up to 100,000 cars can travel on this stretch every single day. The accident happened in that grassy median, which is why they're now looking at putting in a guardrail. I-70 eastbound near the 259. This is what it looked and sounded like on I-70 east near the Morrison exit on Sunday. The deathly wrong way crash also caused a major traffic jam in one of the worst spots as thousands were heading home from a weekend in the high country. Huge impact on thousands of people. Stacia Stellars with CDOT grew up in Littleton and drives on this stretch of 70 often. When you're driving here, you never think about oncoming traffic coming into your lane. Which is why she says CDOT is looking at ways to prevent it from happening again. We're looking at to see if guardrail would prevent something like that in the future, if it's a good thing to put in or if it's actually going to be more hazardous. CDOT is also looking at crash data. So far, they've found two other head-on collisions in the past two decades. Stellar also says the length of the grassy median is longer than the national average. Since it is so big, there, there's plenty of time for a motorist who is conscious uh, to correct. Investigators say the driver had an empty bottle of Fireball whiskey and an unopened can of beer in his truck. They are still waiting for his toxicology results to find out if he was intoxicated. This is a horrific accident. It's atypical. It's not, it's not common. Either way, Stellar says CDOT wants to make sure Colorado's gateway to the high country is safe, no matter which way you're driving. You never know with how much traffic is increasing. Now, CDOT says that it plans to finish its final crash report in the next few months. Once that's complete, that's when it will determine whether or not a guardrail should go in here. Something else interesting that we learned today, while you might think guardrails are always a good idea, they actually can be hazardous. CDOT tells me that in some cases, a guardrail can actually bounce the car back into the opposite direction, which kind of defeats the purpose of the guardrail. So that's obviously something they're going to be looking at before putting in a guardrail at this location. Reporting live, Jennifer Kowaleski, Denver 7. Jennifer,